The, the classical symptoms of a Chiari are related to a problem with fluid flowing between the brain and spine. As there's an increase in the pressure in the chest or tummy, for example, laughing, sneezing, going to the toilet, fluid should move from the spine up into the brain. And with the blockage, what classically happens is as the patient coughs, sneezes or laughs, the fluid gets to the neck and then they get a surge of pressure, so we call it impulse headache, that runs from the back of the neck over the top of the head. That can then give way to an ongoing sort of low grade continuous headache, which usually comes on some years later. The problem with the Chiari is there are so many nebulous symptoms. One may get problems with nystagmus, so the eyes moving in funny directions. One may get problems with balance. There may also be problems with numbness and tingling in the face. Some patients complain of problems with swallowing. Others will get tinnitus. So there are so many nebulous symptoms. And I think over the years, the more patients I've seen with Chiari's, the more I realise that there can be a, a huge variety of symptoms. And each individual patient may complain of some what I initially saw as bizarre symptoms, and yet with treatment, they get so much better. So there's a huge unknown. But the classical symptoms are the impulse-type headaches.